Hey everybody, welcome back to Capture Guides. Today we're going to talk about the white balance submenu inside Magic Lantern, how you can use it to fine tune your image. Now you can see that I've already adjusted the white balance of my recording camera to the live view screen here, and that's why my artificial lights are looking orange. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the second tab, the exposure menu, and then go to the first option, which is white balance. I'm going to access the submenu by pressing Q, and now you've got a lot more options here to choose from. To show you here, you can manually adjust your white balance using the first selection. So if I increase this number, my scene will become more orange. And if I decrease this number, my scene will become more blue. You can use that to offset whatever lighting you're kind of shooting in, whether it's outdoor, indoor, natural, or artificial. You can go back by pressing the set button again. And now I can also adjust the green magenta and blue amber settings. Typically you'll use these when shooting with artificial light to really make your colors stand out as opposed to the white. So as I adjust that you can see kind of down here below this cube becoming more red and green as well as the notebook. You can also fine tune those adjustments here. Um, I wouldn't touch this very much. I would just stick with the options here. This can get kind of complicated. The black level will help if you're getting colors coming out and your shadows. Like if you're shooting astrophotography or maybe some nighttime cityscapes and you notice that the blackest part of your scenes have some color in them, you can go ahead and adjust the black level to really make sure that you're getting a true representation of what your darkness should look like. And one of the coolest features is the auto adjust Kelvin and green magenta. And what I do, pressing set will create a 200 pixel box on the center of the live view display and then Magic Lantern will use that to create white for your scene. You can see here it's a little bit off, but that's because I've got a natural window back there that's casting some blue light onto the scene. Anyway, that's the white balance menu inside a Magic Lantern. If you have any questions, be sure to post them below, and we'll be sure to get them answered.